Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool halftone star vector. Now this is a Back to Basics illustrative tutorial, something different I haven't done for a while, but I just thought you guys would enjoy some illustri illustrator stuff as well as Photoshop, so here we go. I opened a canvas of large size 1800 by 1800 pixels. You will want to do the same, that way your numbers match mine, and it's not going to be confusing for either one of us. Okay? Okay. So once you do that, you're going to go then go to Effects, Document Raster Effect Settings. You want to have 288 in your other selection there. Click OK and you should have a cool setting. That will help you along the way. That way nothing gets messed up and looks weird. OK? Got me? Got me. OK. Now we're going to add the star. Over here, our star tool is actually right in with our rectangle tool. So select the star tool. And then click in the middle of your document anywhere. And you want to have an 800 pixels by 420, 420 and click OK. And you'll get that. Now, I'm going to add a stroke to this just for now so you can see what's going to happen. But we're going to get rid of that momentarily. OK? All right. So, um, yeah. So select your entire star layer. And you're going to go to Edit, Copy. And then you're going to go to paste in place. So that will then paste the same thing in its place. Now once you have it pasted in its place, we're going to go up here to object. We're going to go to transform. We're going to scale this. 25%, click OK, and you'll see two stars. One's big, one's small. Now that you have that, we're going to then get rid of the um, stroke because we don't need it anymore. We just wanted to use it so we can see where we were. So I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that stroke, and you can leave the colors white because we're going to edit those anyway momentarily. So now you're going to see there's going to be nothing there, or it'll look as if there's nothing there, but there is. Alright, so now we're going to go and add some color to these. So with the little tiny star, we're going to work with that first. So we're going to add a dark gray, so I'm going to go to Window, pop up my color. And this is going to be your fill. That's what you want to select. The other one behind that's actually your stroke fill, which we have set to zero. So over here, we're going to add 77 for our RGB, and that will give us a dark gray. Okay, you get that? All right, click OK. We have that. And then for our back star, we have white, and that's fine. So leave it as white. A white to gray. All right, now we're going to go up here to select. We're going to select all, and then we're going to go to object, and we're going to make under blend. Click that, and ooh, look at that, guys. Now that's our star. But we're not done. We still got to add our halftone effect. All right, so now. We're going to go up here to edit, I mean edit, effects, <laughs> and we're going to select down here under pixelate color halftone. And you want to have 96 for your radius and 128 for all of your channels. And click OK. And you could alter this if you like, if you don't like how it looks, but I just think this looks perfect. So we're going to use this. Alright. And this may take a few minutes just to get in there because it's a really large file, so be patient. It doesn't come up right away. All right, there we go. Now it's rasterizing our artwork. So yeah, this takes a few seconds because it's a large file. So just sit back, relax, um, and enjoy yourself. Text a friend, talk to a friend, something like that. Tweet something. Or comment below. Chat with somebody in the comments below. I don't know. Something. All right, there we go. Sweetness. Now, here's the other issue. Technically, as of right now, it's not a vector anymore because we've done so many things on top of it. So we need to now make it back into a vector because if you leave it like this, technically it's just an object and that's not really what we were going for. We're going for a real vector. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it is there. Sorry, guys. I'm going to expand. <laughs> Sorry. Expand appearance is what you'll click. All right. So now once you've done the expand, the expand appearance, you're going to then go back up here to edit. Uh, edit an object, and we're going to go down here to Live Trace. We're going to click Tracing Options, click OK, 
and the preset we're going to select simple trace and this may take a few moments to go through I don't know because um, it's going to take a bit or maybe not, maybe it'll just take a few seconds cool enough, a lot better than our half tone that took forever alright so once you've done that go back up here to object and click expand now and click OK and you'll see all those blue dots and now that means you have yourself a cool awesome vector awesome sauce right so that's basically the tutorial um, at this point you can change it to a gray a gray color if you like um, just clicking up here selecting a different hue it'll give you different options um, you'll get different hues of gray um, or whatever but yeah that's basically how it goes um, now it's a vector so now you can export it as a PSD file and um, into Photoshop, wherever you want to use it, doesn't matter. Um, but that's it. It's basically that's it. Um, hopefully it wasn't too confusing for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, hit a, hit a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, comment below. Inbox me here. I'm everywhere you are. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this, and I'll see you guys later on. Bye!